All right, so good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome to the 50th uh, council, town council meeting of the 13th elected uh, town council of Happy Valley Goose Bay. And uh, we have a couple of things to attend to first, um, and then we're going to uh, do something uh, a little different today. Uh, okay, so uh, first item on our agenda is to adopt the agenda for our 50th meeting. So I'll entertain a motion to do so. So moved. Moved by Councillor Pomeroy, seconded by Deputy Mayor Wallace. Any discussion? Okay, all those in favor indicate with aye. 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 Contra minded. Okay, so we've adopted our agenda. Um, we don't have any delegations, do we? No. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to, we have um, two municipal, or, or two, I guess, new municipal enforcement officers have been on the job for a, a little bit of time. But uh, this evening we're going to officially uh, swear, their in, swear them in in their, uh, in their role. So I'm going to ask Constables uh, uh, Poole and Michelin if they would come down to the front. So, 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 so now, this is not going to be on anywhere. I'll move this over here a little bit. Uh, okay. So I am going to give you this one. We're going to do you separate, I assume, yes? Okay. And you're going to swear or affirm? I'll swear. Okay, there you go. Put your right hand on the Bible. I'm going to give you the Bible to hold in your right hand. There you go. <laughs> if you'd be so kind. All right, so uh, if you would repeat after me, I state your name in full. I, Tanya Michelin. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will well and truly serve. That I will and well truly serve. The town of Happy Valley Goose Bay. The town of Happy Valley Goose Bay. In the position as municipal enforcement officer. And in the position as, as a municipal enforcement officer. Without favor or affection. Without favor or affection. Without malice or ill will. Without malice or ill will. That I will see and cause. That I will see and cause. The town of Happy Valley Goose Bay. The town of Happy Valley Goose Bay. Peace to be kept and preserved. Peace to be kept and preserved. And I will prevent. And I will prevent. To the best of my power. To the best of my power. All offenses against. All offenses against. And that while I continue to hold the office. And that while I continue to hold the office. I will, to the best of my skills and knowledge. To the best of my skills and knowledge. Discharge all duties. Discharge all duties. Thereof faithfully according to law. Thereof faithfully according to law. And that I will not directly. And that I will not directly. Or indirectly. Authority, without due authority, disclose to any person, disclose to any person, any information, any information, or other matter, or other matter that may come to me, that may come to me in the performance of my employment, in, in the performance of, of my employment, employment as a municipal enforcement officer, as a municipal enforcement officer for the town of Happy Valley Goose Bay, for the town of Happy Valley Goose Bay. So help me God. So help me God. Okay, so I've got it signed. I'm going to need you to sign it here. I will give you your pen. I will present this to you. <coughs> Excellent. And here is your banjo box. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. And I will give you, I need you, I'll Keep give you this in a second. Okay. Not, oh no, here you go. Because I can read it out. All right. Okay. Same thing, sir. If you're going to swear, yep, if you would hold it. All right, so I very pool. I very pool. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will. Well and truly serve the well, town of Happy Valley Goose Bay. Well and truly serve the town of Happy Valley Goose Bay. In the position of municipal enforcement officer. In the position of municipal enforcement officer. Without favor or affection. Without favor or affection. Without malice or ill will. Without malice or ill will. That I will see and cause. That I will see and cause. The town of Happy Valley Goose Bay. The town of Happy Valley Goose Bay. Peace to be kept and preserved. Peace to be kept and preserved. And that I will prevent. And that I will prevent. To the best of my power. To the best of my power. All offenses against same. All, all offenses against same. And that while I continue to hold the office. And while I continue to hold the office. I will, to the best of my skills and knowledge. I will, to the best of my skills and knowledge. Discharge all the duties. Discharge all the duties. Thereof, faithfully according to law. Thereof, faithfully according to law. And that I will not directly. And I will not directly. Or indirectly. Or indirectly. Without due authority. Without due authority. Disclose to any person. Disclose to any person. Any information. Or matter that may come to me, or matter that may come to me in the performance of my employment, in the, 
Thomas and Ryan Farmer. As a municipal enforcement officer. As a member of the municipal enforcement, municipal officer, enforcement officer. For the town of Happy Valley Goose Bay. For the town of Happy Valley Goose Bay. So help me God. So help me God. All right, so I have signed it here. I'll get you to sign here as well. All right, so you're free to take this one. All right, so now you've got to go. Thank you, folks. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, so we have uh, that uh, piece of business uh, uh, attended to. All right, so next, uh, no further delegations. Oh, knock on the door. Well, maybe we do have one more delegation. <laughs> Hello, Santa. Hello, Santa. I heard there was a special town council meeting on tonight. There is indeed. And how are you? Uh, good. Uh, the uh, weather oh. was just lovely. I seen a few snowflakes coming in, uh, but uh, it got clearer as I got into town. So well, nice that's to good. see you. And likewise. <laughs> and uh, the council is very glad, pleased that you took the time from what must be an absolutely busier than the town councilor schedule. Oh, I'm telling you, uh, we are so busy. Uh, I think we have over two million gifts wrapped already and we're still going very strong. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna give you the microphone. If you wanted to come here and sit in my chair for a second, and you can just sit up for the kids at Happy Valley Goose Bay. You turn How's that sound? Pardon me? You turn Press it again. Yeah. Oh, so I'm gonna let Santa sit here and just uh, bring greetings and have a little word to the, uh, to the kids of our town and uh, Make sure that everybody uh, be as good. So here you go, Santa. Cheers, yours. Thank you. <laughs> to the kids of the town of Happy Valley Goose Bay, uh, a lot of you have been really good this year, and I hope that on Christmas Eve you go to bed extra early uh, so that I'm able to come in and give you all of your gifts. And this year, uh, the reindeer... Uh, asked for a little extra food this year. Uh, there, uh, uh, some people haven't been leaving out some f reindeer food, so they're, they're asking for a little extra. Uh, and uh, Rudolph says that he loved the carrots that you guys all left him last year and uh, hopes that uh, you still leave him out a, a carrot or two. But uh, I hope everyone has a great Christmas, and I'm glad to be here at the town council meeting tonight. Thank you. Has all the councillors been on your good list, uh, Santa? <laughs> oh, he never answered. <laughs> well, we. Oh, he's taken. Uh, I, I've uh, I've checked my list twice, found out who was naughty and nice, and you've all made the good list this oh, year. Oh, well, here we go. Well, thank you very much, Santa. I hope uh, your Christmas Eve uh, goes very, very good, and I hope you have good weather. And if you can take our snow back with you to the North Pole, that will be even better. Oh, I have to leave it here so that my, uh, my skis on my sleigh don't uh, give out, unless uh, you want to submit it, me to submit a budget for uh, no, no, uh, that's an okay. update. <laughs> <laughs> We're just about through the process, sir, so we'll, we'll keep the snow. Okay, thank you, Santa. All right, folks, so uh, the minutes have been... Uh, Presented, of course, in our packages, uh, so we're going to uh, entertain a motion now to adopt the uh, minutes from the 49th meeting. I'll make a motion. Okay, moved by Councillor Compton Hobbs, seconded by Deputy Mayor Wallace. Discussion on those minutes? Did you? Oh, I thought you were putting your hand up, sir. Uh, okay, no discussion. All those in favor, indicate with aye. 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 Contrary minded? Passed. Correspondence wise? Uh, just to, uh, to highlight what's happening this evening, um, we won't have regular committee reports uh, because of the short nature between last month and this month and Christmas period. Uh, so there won't be any committee meetings. We do have an important piece of business to take care of. Um, and I guess we can do it just after now because we're, we're just going to go down through quite the, uh, the committees anyway. So I'll let the chair of that uh, committee do that motion that we need to attend to. And then we'll just move through the remainder of the agenda and uh, councillors form at the end. All right, so uh, there is no correspondence that I have there. Um, I would assume that Municipal Assessment Agency would have been uh, being looked at. Is there? Okay. Uh, municipal Assessment Agency would, uh, as they res regularly do, send us some information. All right, so uh, we have a motion of council that will come from um, Municipal Services or Finance and Amend. 
Usually, right? Okay. So I will pass the floor to the chair. Wonderful. Okay. Well, thank you, Mayor. Yep. Be it resolved that the Town of Happy Valley Goose Bay requests from the Department of Transportation and Infrastructure that the 2020 to 2023 multi-year capital works program be amended to include funding for additional project costs of $600,000 for D42 pump house upgrades and $250,000 for municipal building upgrades. Okay, so it's been made a move by Deputy Mayor Wallace and the uh, Municipal Service and Protection Services Committee that uh, we ask the Department of Transportation and Infrastructure to amend our multi-year capital works uh, from 2020 to 2023 for the indicated purpose. Seconder, uh, Councillor Rumbolt. Uh, discussion? Just uh, Councillor Palmer. Um, in terms of the upgrade, so this is money from 2020 to 2023 that has to be expended this year, correct? Yep. Correct. Which is why we're doing it now. Yep. So we can't carry this money over into 2024. Basically, if we don't lose it, if we don't use it, we would lose it. it. Those funds would expire, right? <coughs> All right. Any I other? I've got Sorry. a question yep. too. So some of this funding is from the trails money that was uh, allowed previously. Um, that when it was tendered, was nobody bid on it, right? Um, to the best of my knowledge, can you answer that question? I believe that was under a different. Yeah, I thought it was too. Program. But yeah. Well, when I spoke to the engineer, I, I was the multi-year capital works. 2020 and 2023. So I'm not sure if that's some of the money that was allotted for the trails. That's I don't think so. I think there was a previous 2018 to 17, or 17, 17 to 2020 or correct. something. Yeah. That's where that money was. Yeah. Not. Th I don't think this is the money. No. And just to add, Mayor, uh, like uh, in order to uh, access additional funds for uh, future years under Multi Capital Works, this money has to be has to be spent. Yeah. And like I say, if it doesn't, it'll expire, and then we. Right? And it is so, cost share. So yeah, and that's what I was just going to say. So from our perspective, I think it's 70-30 funds. 70 -30. So I mean, th this work means that we only contribute a percentage as opposed to letting it expire and then having to spend that money on some of the important infrastructure like the D42 up pump house upgrades. We would end up then having to pay 100%. So that really, uh, that doesn't make a lot of sense to, to do that. So any other discussion? Okay, none being heard. All those in favor, indicate with aye. 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 Contrary minded? Passed. <laughs> All right, so um, nothing pressing that. The other motion was in your packet. Okay, we, we were told it wasn't. Well, this is all I have here in front of me is this one. Yeah, but there's one in the package. In the package. Okay. Do you want my laptop? It's usually le recommendations come from me. No, you can. I'll, I'll, well, who's, it, who's it for? The it's item? for CPT. It's okay, for so. Councillor Pomeroy. So here. Uh, Do you want my. Would you want? Laptop? That's not my, uh, okay. That's not his. Is uh, it the asset management one? That's my one. Is it the track? Right? Asset management? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you have it? Okay. So I'll pass the floor to Councillor Captain Hobbs. Hobbs. Thank you, Mayor. Um, asset management capital program. Be it resolved, the town of Happy Valley Goose Bay approved the asset management capital program as completed by track in November 2023, including the asset management policy. Okay, so it's moved by Councillor Compton Hobbs through um, uh, her committee that uh, we accept the track consultant asset management plan as was presented to us a couple of weeks ago, I guess. Um, seconder, Councillor uh, Councillor Pomeroy, discussion. This is really loud tonight. Uh, any discussion on the uh, on the motion? All right, so none being heard. Uh, I'm just going to make the comment that the uh, the asset management plan uh, is a plan that puts in place uh, future federal funding uh, from an infrastructure perspective. We'll be cognizant on the fact that we have an asset management plan and what it in place and uh, what it is that it rates, I guess, and uh, looks at life cycle for all of our assets within the town, whether it be big, small roads, uh, uh, skidoo, truck, etc., and puts it on a management plan. Uh, basically, I guess a sliding a sliding scale so that we can see um, at any point in time where an asset is in terms of the life cycle. And from a council perspective, it would help because as you see trucks or equipment coming to the end of their life, that money can be allocated uh, as necessary to fix those deficiencies. And it could be a street, it could be a building, it could be anything. So that's where that comes from. Any further discussion? 
Okay, all those in favor indicate with aye. 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 Contra minded? Passed. So are there any other motions? I know there was one, but we, one more, but not there. We're gonna take it off from finance and I mean, it's gonna be next month. All right, approval of checks, and I will pass it to the finance, pure finance, and uh, do you have the, uh, you have the amount? Yeah, do you got one? Okay. All right, Councillor, uh, oh, changing committees, okay. Sir, the floor is yours. Thanks, uh, thanks, Mayor. Uh, the FAP committee recommends that council approve checks in the amount of $479,240.92. Okay, it's moved by Councillor uh, Pomeroy that uh, we approve checks in the amount of $479,240.92. Seconded by? I'll second it. Councillor Compton Hobbs seconded. Any discussion? Councillor Rumble. This is just a two week period, right? Uh, yeah, it That's does why say. It's significantly it does smaller. say December 23rd. Oh, oh, yeah, it's much smaller. Okay. Yeah. And I would assume there'd only be in one more week. Is that correct? And then you, it, the office closes for the Christmas period? Is yes. it? Yes. Yeah. So we'll see. I'd say a much bigger one. 23 means 2023. 2023. Yeah, I did not thought it was December 23rd. This is why I was kind of. Okay. All right. So any further discussion? None heard. All those in favor, indicate with aye. 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 Contrary minded, pass the checks. All right, councillor's form. Um, the most festive looking person is Councillor Rumbolt, so I'm gonna start on that <laughs> end tonight. Thank you, Mayor. Um, so very, very fast meeting this evening, um, of course, because as the mayor stated, we didn't have much time in between the last meeting and this one, but just to make the public aware, um, council has been extremely busy, so we have been in the budget process, and um, we, I think I want to take the opportunity to thank those who did uh, provide their feedback or submit um, when we announced that we were, you know, getting ready for our budget process, and we asked for public input. So a huge thank you to those residents that did reach out and uh, provide feedback. Um, just so everybody knows, it's, it's a very... Um, detailed process and we have um, many hours at the table and still more to come so um, so that everybody knows we are doing our best um, we are working very hard to to present a balanced budget at the end of this month uh, thank you to everybody who came out to both the tree lighting and the Santa Claus parade um, I think both were fabulous events the weather cooperated with us this year. It was cold, it's been cold, but as Santa told us, we have to have the snow so that the skis on the sleigh don't stick. So um, it was lovely to see such a wonderful turnout. Um, I've said it, I think, previous Christmases, and I will say it again. Um, encourage residents to be cognizant that although this is a very festive time, um, for some, it is not the most wonderful time of the year. So we want to make sure that you reach out to those that may be struggling or in need, whether that's financially, emotionally, or otherwise. Um, if we can all look to our friends and neighbors and offer a hand, uh, we should be doing it year round, but this is the time of year that it becomes most poignant and uh, we all want to do our best to help those that we can. Um, so keeping it short, that's it. Merry Christmas to everyone. Santa Claus, um, this year, can I get a fat bank account and a skinny body and not a fat body and a skinny bank account like previous? So if you could work on that, that would be fabulous. That's my wish list. Thank you very much. Oh, and the mayor has a birthday this month coming up. So happy early birthday to the mayor. And that's it for me. Thank you. And if I'd have known, I would never have gone that way. I'd have went the other way. Okay, thank you, <laughs> Councillor Rumble. Uh, Councillor uh, Brumfield. Uh, thank you, Your Worship. I'd just like to mention last week was my mother's 90th birthday here. My parents were one of the original settlers here in this town as well, too, right? So was, they're the last of the ones dying breed, and there's only a few of them left, actually, the original settlers. So I'll just say a heads out to my mother and the uh, belated happy birthday, basically, making it public, right? And as Councillor Rumble said, we are now in the budget process, and 
nice thing to know before Christmas that Nicole has been done, unfortunately, and we are up to the challenge. We had to do it. So that's it. Hey, we signed up for this. We got to do it. Other thing is we did have a good uh, snow lighting or Christmas trees parade and snow lighting, and that was really good, well received. And thank everyone, and wish everyone a Merry Christmas for the season. And sharing is caring, all right? Thank you. And please pass on to your mom. Happy birthday from all of us at Randall's table. I'll wait for you. Uh, <laughs> Councillor Palmer. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll touch a little bit on the budgeting process and uh, having been through it now nine times. It's, uh, it's, it is a lot of work, a lot of time you have to go into it. And uh, I mean, as representatives of, of, of our community, it's crucial that, uh, that we actively be engaged in the budgeting process. I know not everybody can be at all times, but it's important that uh, you know we work together as a council and, and, and the best interest of the community. Um, as a member of council, um, you know we must ask ourselves whether the decisions that we make in the budgeting process aligns with our strategic planning, and um, and well as well in our goals to maintain a balanced budget each and every year. Um, so I think you know going forward as a council, we we need to remain vigilant. We need to continue to stay the course. Difficult decisions are going to have to be made at some point, and uh, you know, just make sure that we're mindful of those decisions because, uh, you know, the bottom line is, you know, we have to do everything we can to, uh, you know, keep taxes down uh, because residents at this point simply can't afford it, and um, might be good for some people to be able to afford it, but a, a lot of people are going to have a hard time this year, and uh, at least they, you know, we have to be more prudent to make sure that. The decisions we make are in the best interest of the community overall, and there might have to be some tough decisions that would have to be made. Um, there's a couple other things I uh, just wanted to, uh, to highlight uh, this year uh, with the low-income discounts that were given out in the finance package. Um, we've uh, given away a total, not given away, but the town provided a total of $157,494 in low-income property tax relief. and. Uh, that was 142 property owners, broken down 53 of those property owners received a 100% tax reduction. Uh, 35 received a 75% uh, tax reduction. 31 received 50% and 23 received 25%. So that's a, you know, that's a great uh, initiative that's working well in our community. Those who need it the most are getting the benefit from it. And again, it goes back to being mindful and vigilant and looking after the best interests of our community and what people can afford. Um, our donation budget this year, great that we've been able to provide uh, some much needed funds to various groups and organizations throughout the community. Uh, of the 22,500, we provided funding to the Homeless Coalition's Pancake Breakfast, to uh, Lieber House, uh, Shelter Foundation um, fundraisers, uh, the SPCA, Melbourne Public Library, Helping Hands, Media Mountain Collegiate Safe Grad, Labrador Grenfell Foundation Golf Tournament, Filipino Association, Labrador Hunting and Fishing, Fishing Association, the RCMP Ball, Salvation Army Kettle Campaign, uh, Baptist Church Snow Goose uh, Mountain, and the Happy Valley Goose Bay Recyclers. And um, so it's good that we're able to give back to these groups that provide so much to our community. And uh, I just want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Um, hopefully 2024 is going to be a very good, productive, and uh, happy year for, for a lot of people. And uh, as a town, I think we need to focus on the next next couple of years as going to be difficult years, I think, because of the economic environment we're in. But I think we were up for the task. We signed up for it, and uh, it's time to roll up our sleeves. Anyway, Merry Christmas, everyone. Councillor Compton Hobbs. Thank you, Councillor Compton. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I'd like to start off by thanking the uh, community service and recreation staff for the, all the work they put into the Santa Claus parade and uh, the tree lighting. Um, in particular, Ann Morris and her crew because uh, uh, you know they go above and beyond. People don't see what happens behind the scenes, but they spend a lot of time putting that float together. They spend a lot of time putting decorations up on Husky Park and Kinsman Park. Uh, they spent a lot of time in the college getting that decorated. So there's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes that people don't see. So uh, hats off to the CSR Department, Community Service and Recreation. Uh, I was gonna, just gonna mention that uh, we are going to, the council is going to long term on Monday for a Christmas sing-along. So I'm excited and uh, I always enjoy going over there uh, 
during Christmas and, and seeing the smiles on the seniors' faces. And uh, even when we went by with the floats on the Santa Claus parade, to see the, wim uh, the seniors up in the window waving was, you know, up very uplifting. Um, the budget process, I also, s this is my ninth one, and uh, I mean, you cannot thank the staff, uh, finance department, you know, um, Nadine, Mike, Kelsey, whoever else is involved, the work that's going on behind the scenes that people don't see. Um, and I always say it, I say it every budget process, they might as well just move their beds in here because they're here day and night. So um, there's a lot of work goes into it. And for council, we, we spend a lot of hours here too. Um, but we will, uh, you know, uh, we'll get through it and uh, we will look at the best interest of the community. Uh, I, you know, like, like Council Pomeroy said, that the cost of living, everything has gone skyrocketed. So whatever's best for our community is how we need to put our heads together moving forward in, in this budget. And uh, I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a ho, 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 Santa Claus. <laughs> and that's it for me, Mayor. Okay, thank you, Councilor Compton Hobbs. Council Winters. Thanks, Mayor. I'll just keep it really, really short. I'd like to say Merry Christmas to everybody and in, uh, in all residents of the town. Uh, thank you for our staff uh, for all the work that you do with regards to the budget process and uh, the seven people sitting at this table. And uh, with the snow that came down, seeing a couple of uh, vehicles off the road, uh, every time it snows, it seems like we forget to, how to drive. So <laughs> stay safe uh, and uh, have a happy new year. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mayor. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mayor. Just wishing the residents of the town of Happy Valley Goose Bay a uh, wonderful holiday season. Take a moment this season to give where you can, um, assist our friends, our neighbors, the seniors, or the less fortunate. Uh, wishing a very happy new year as we look forward to 2024. Okay. Uh, yeah, just a few things for me um, in terms of the budget process. Uh, thanks to Mike and staff. Uh, thanks to, uh, to Nadine, yeah, it's a, it's a long process, uh, but it's a process that has to be done uh, and done with due diligence and stuff like that. Um, one, th a couple of uh, couple of things, in terms of the uh, Santa Claus Parade, um, 20 odd years ago, when uh, sat down and we entered the Nora Winter Lights competition, uh, it was an idea that just struck me one night to change the parade from a daytime to a nighttime parade. And the other evening to, you know, with uh, the, with the, my council colleagues to drive up the street. I don't think there was anybody left at home. The weather was great. It was an absolutely fantastic evening to see the kids um, and to see everybody just out. I don't know if there was a count, but I mean, I would say there was- Thousands. Yeah, there was up to a couple of thousand people, I think, on the streets. And uh, it was fantastic. Um, so from that perspective, and yes, to include the long-term care, um, we went around a second time. It was, uh, it was great. Um, and you could see just the sheer joy. And for the last couple of days, I think you might have been here today, I don't know if you heard anything, but the message that you know I heard was that it was absolutely fantastic, because I think Helping Hands may have had an, uh, an event mm -hmm. the same evening kind of deal, so it made, that, uh, made it great for some, uh, for the folks that are there, so it's great. Um, Merry Christmas to everybody. Uh, you know, we've had an amazing year. Uh, we got two more years, and I don't think, uh, you know, as this year ends, we're considerably lucky to live in a town and a country um, like we do, as opposed to uh, seeing some of the struggles around the world. Help where you can, reach out, because everybody at some point in time is struggling. So uh, yeah, reach out, take that time with your family and friends, don't drink and drive, and please don't skidoo until it's safe to do so. The ferry's been back and forth and stuff, so don't, uh, don't be brave with all the snow down, the ice is still not there, so we, uh, we don't want to hear of anybody who's, uh, who's had an incident uh, crossing the ice. Outside of that, thank you to all the staff. You guys are, uh, are amazing. Putting up with our uh, antics sometimes is, uh, is hard, but uh, I'm sure uh, you'll take some uh, deserved rest now and uh, rest up over Christmas and we'll get back at New Year. Thank you, Santa, for taking time from your schedule. It's always a pleasure. Maybe next year we'll do the same thing. Thank you. Do you guys have anything you want to bring before council before I close? No, it's smile, smile, smile. Mike is up there saying no, we got more budget to do, but uh, that's good. All right, folks. All right. Let me see. That's it. So with that being said, I uh, wish everybody a Merry Christmas, and I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. A motion to adjourn moved by, uh, made by Councillor uh, Compton-Hobbs, 
Seconded by Councillor Rumbold. <laughs> All those in favour indicate with aye. 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 Country minded. <laughs> Meetings adjourned. Good evening.